First, I would uh, congratulate all your survival in this uh, complex COVID environment. Mm. <laughs> hope, hope we meet <laughs> soon again. Uh, I know there are a lot of uh, great technology for improving the education environment. Uh, today, I'm, I'm showing you a little bit different one uh, because uh, if you look at uh, my video, uh, this is called a virtual classroom. So we invite you, all the people who meet in the Zoom can come to class, which is an iStudio class. So you're watching the class. So everybody in the class, we have uh, students here, we have uh, uh, the contact students here, we have uncontact uh, students here. And we all meet in a virtual classroom. So I try to make a meeting place not in the cafe, but in the classroom. We call this a smart class. So what you are watching is the smartphone where you joining the classroom. So that's the, that's the small difference between uh, Zoom meeting and Zoom class. We are introducing Zoom class for students to feel as like they are joining in the classroom. So I will show shortly my presentation. So it's like you come to class, you're always watching the, the blackboard or uh, whiteboard. So here my pointer showing the uh, electric virtual whiteboard where I can draw, for example, I can draw this one like this. Uh, and also I can change the uh, page. So simply clicking the mouse. It's like you do next page in PowerPoint, you do the same thing in this uh, operation. So basically this uh, device doesn't need any pre-education for using this device. So if you look at all the broadcasting equipment, now the uh, many broadcasters having the uh, studio, so you should go to studio to have a, a presentation there, for example, to make a broadcast. And you put all the cameras there, many cameras to show different angle for PowerPoint, for uh, the presenter for audience, you need a lot of cameras. And also all these cables connected to production switcher. This is a basic fundamental environment for broadcasting. And then after that you need a, a technical director who can switch which button to show there. And then all the decision made by the pro program director, PD. And eventually you need an announcer, teacher and also you have uh, uh, the remote students. So they, they have uh, the car in, in other place where they transmit the video from uh, remote place to show in this uh, studio. All this, all this environment I'm doing by using mouse. So we have one camera here and then another camera there. So the camera moving like a Jimmy Jeep to show who is speaking. And then we have another camera like this. I, if I could, just a couple of things. First of all, congratulations. I think, I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very futuristic, if you will. A um, couple of comments, a couple of questions. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting, you, you think about it, and this kind of Sammy ties to what you had mentioned earlier. Last year when COVID hit, all the teachers around the world, all the professors around the world um, had to learn this new technology. Zoom, Google Hangouts, Microsoft Teams, etc. cetera. And, um, it's interesting that so many of them uh, were paralyzed mm -hmm. because they didn't know what buttons to click and they had to go through a lot of training. Um, and then once they actually figured out how to use the technology, then they realized they had a second problem. That second problem was, how do I engage my students? Mm -hmm. How do I get their attention? How do I keep their attention? How do I make my messages memorable? Um, and so a couple things uh, that, I, that strike me for what you're doing is, is first of all, on the, on the technology side, I guess one question I have for you is, is whether you're a K through 12, an early education teacher, a university professor, an e-learning developer, et cetera. How do we, how do you train them quickly about how to use all the technology that, all the technology that you're building? Let me, let me stop there, then I'll ask my engagement question in a moment. Mm -hmm. like what's the what's the onboarding uh, uh, time? Um, mm -hmm. Will 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 older teachers get intimidated by this mm -hmm. versus you know the younger millennial or Gen Z uh, 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 teachers who get technology? 
Yes, my uh, my my simple answer uh, is uh, don't try to uh, create everything in new way because a lot of now 70, uh, 7 billion people working uh, same hope to make a small paradise on this planet. All the education, uh, the professional people working that direction. How we make teacher simple for students to learn very quickly. So I'm I'm uh, one of the person who is working for broadcast industry to bring this one for teacher uh, with uh, without any uh, understanding uh, the technology. Just that they should do is uh, concentrate on teaching. So all the Zoom also they are working for that way, uh, all the LMS, CMS going that way, uh, one touch operation. So the engagement, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working to, uh, to bring this uh, broadcast technology into this uh, lecturing device, how we combine presenter's face, presenter's eyes, the student's pictures. So I'm trying to show all the ideas I, I'm using now for you to understand whether this method is really engaging or not. So once this is a new generation to change the way of presentation, instead of using Blackboard, but they yeah. use a virtual electric whiteboard where we show teacher, where we show the students there with a beautiful environment. The broadcast people always worry how nicely we can show in a small, small screen. TV screen is very small anyway, 10 inch, 40 inch, 60 inch, whatever, very small compared to the nature. So students who is understanding the nature of physics or all the worldwide story from the smartphone has to have very different view to bring the presentation material, bring the presenter's uh, emotion there. This is the idea how I'm, I'm working on to make a presenter speak, sometimes all together, these kind of things. Anyway, uh, we are working on. That's why human history okay. is moving on. So we Obviously, with the scale onboarding, you have to be in training, you have to be very, very simple for people. Yes, and the exactly. second question, the second yeah. comment I want to make is the brilliance of what you're doing mm. is the movement. Yes. Um, because the movement gets people engaged. We're always looking at what's next. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned content. That's actually some of the, some of the work that I do. Is um, uh, I I use I'm telling Sammy. I use um, I partner with a bunch of the Hollywood movie studios. Yeah. But we have legal access to their movie libraries to tell those stories to bring content to life. And the whole idea that is to get students' attention, to make the messages memorable and sticky, as they say. Um, it, and it's very much what you're doing yeah. um so that's that's really the brilliant so, so even though you were uh for the length of time you were talking i was fully engaged because there's so much going on around me <laughs> <laughs> you know so that I, I i think that's wonderful um and then um so let's just comment and the last question i have about which is though is is about cost um i know you mm -hmm. put a bunch of figures up there and it, it, it is the thought process and let's just take a, a university that every professor in the university would have their own classroom like this hmm. at XYZ dollars per classroom? Yeah. Or do you see just one, two, three rooms that they would go to do their teaching? Hmm. So we, we, uh, we are not very big company yet, uh, but I believe Alan and all our Alan group are working for together to, to make we uh, grow together and also eventually uh, we can cover all, all countries. Now uh, we try to make a little bit low price for license model like a Zoom. So they prepare hardware, not good notebook and good computer because there are many uh, computers already available. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the iStudio is actually uh, for for broadcast industry, this is uh, some. We do YouTube, we do Facebook, we do Zoom, we do Webex. All, all simultaneously, we can do. I can make a live live broadcast in Facebook now. I can make a YouTube live. So uh, every possible tools we connect there. So as soon as we sell this one to many people, any problem from Zoom, any problem from YouTube, any problem from microphone, they call us because they think this is a broadcast studio. 
So right now we are going carefully for one by one. Uh, for a little bit uh, high-end people, we go there institute uh, or the large classroom. But uh, uh, we are working to make it very simple for operation to have every people to use. So uh, within two months we have another one, within five months we have the other one, something like that. But eventually every people can use software as like a gym. But now, to make some business, you have to go visit, you have to introduce the i s t u d i o technology to your client. You need to spend maybe one day, or you travel there, showing there, even you put from your office to there, you have to explain. And finally, when before they decide, they come to you, or they, you, they will ask you to come there. It's all cost. So if you go very low cost, this is a problem. So right now, we are going more than uh, $12,000 or $45,000 because the, the people who really seriously worry about COVID environment, the people who really want to have improved their education, they should uh, pay some money for such a nice tools. So they are not afraid of uh, putting such a money in every class. In Korea, for example, they put uh, $10,000 for every, every school to improve their distance learning. And many universities now have a big problem because uh, Students gave up to, uh, to uh, stand to pay the money, tuition fee in the university. Because uh, when they see the video, it looks like uh, the internet school. So uh, such a serious environment uh, they yeah, are yeah, willing to. So in the United States, with yeah. the universities, there was a study I saw the other day that 60% of colleges and universities in the United States uh -huh. are hemorrhaging money. Wow. Right Yeah. Hemorrhaging. Um, and you'll see a, a, a complete shift in higher education. Never mind K through 12. In mm. higher education, you'll see a complete shift because of their financial concerns mm. going forward. So, again, what you're doing, um, I really see as a brilliant mm -hmm. because of the opportunity okay. to fill the gap that's happening out there. So, good for you. Congrats. Okay, thank you uh, very much, uh, Scott. You you are from Egypt? No, I'm from Washington. I'm, well, I'm from Washington D.C. Oh, so I am Egypt? from Egypt. Egypt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, which city exactly? Egypt. Which city? Uh, Giza. Giza. Oh, there is yeah. a pyramid. The pyramid city. Yes. Oh, I was there. I, I had uh, many interesting uh, videos from there because I tried to make a virtual karaoke traveling. So when you sing from oh, uh, nice. this machine, it looks like you are in front of the Kisa. Oh, And that's great. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> many things. The virtual reality uh, has a challenge. For example, how we make a presentation from from any place, how we listen the lecture from any place, which is called teleclass. Same thing, how we make a tele tour. So without going to Kisa, I mean the private area, uh, once, mm. uh, once Sammy make a drone from there, sky view, I mean the gas view, so they, they make a drone and send video to me, I make a simulator for you to have goggle to make a feeling as like you are flying. This is called telecopter. next time uh, I will show this technology too. So we are using virtual reality. Virtual reality means the uh, brain training, virtual world. So we make a motion, we make a graphics. So motion part, we put the tele uh, uh, the simulator. So I will show why we need this and, and so on. Anyway, uh, alien if, uh, Yeah, I have a few questions if you don't mind. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> mm. uh, so it, maybe I missed it. So, and I'm not a tech person at all. But um, so, were you saying that you're looking for content that eventually everyone could upload their class onto your system? Mm -hmm. Now, is there? And, and I'm, I'm sorry if I missed this, but is there some sort of aggregator where the students can rate it so that the best class goes up to the top? Uh, actually, uh, <clears throat> we, are, we are the company who really make a presentation video itself. 
and then uh, this is all real time. So this one going to uh, any any platform available. So the uh, Alan told me you have uh, some education platform. Yes, there they can put our video there, or they can connect live there. So the the platform we are using Zoom or the Facebook or the Microsoft Meeting, whatever the real time interactive. We use a, a Zoom Meeting kind of tools and CMS. V Vimeo, YouTube, uh, whatever, Panopto, everything is open platform. But what I like is, we want to make a very simple platform like a Moodle. And then we like to have a video conference like a Jitsu. So uh, everything is free platform. So we, 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 I, I don't want to make a very complicated function to emphasize very fancy stuff there. I want to make a very simple, just touch, put the video, watching, question, finish. To make that function in Moodle, very simple. So we are trying to put this uh, Moodle, very simple, uh, the, the learning management system there. And also all the, the uh, CMS platform. You can put your Wowja server, which is very cheap also. You know the, what the Wowja server is? Amazon, Amazon cloud server. Facebook using mm -hmm. Wowja. Everybody is a server and network. This is a Wowja service. Or you can put your machine, put $700 Wowja video on demand or live streaming server. Software price is $700. You put this one in your web page, web mm -hmm. service company. Then you have your own cloud. So, uh, but for that service anyway, you uh, can make very simple, just uh, make a cloud service from, from Wowja from Amazon. So mm -hmm. uh, there are many tools, many companies working for that direction so we can use that one to integrate your, your goal. Goal is how we make a students better education. How we make a simple for teacher for, for uh, managing this kind of uh, courses. So this one is fully developed. After we have 4G and 5G platform worldwide, so we, we have a uh, semi uh, from um, Kija, uh, surprisingly, uh, now Sam's video is the uh, best quality. So I, I think, uh, the, for example, now the uh, this kind of video, uh, the, I will show you what Sam's quality is here. So this is the uh, this is the uh, best quality now from from here. H how come Egypt video or uh, to here is better quality than the uh, other place? <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I am, I am in, I'm in Jakarta now. I'm not in Egypt. I'm in Indonesia. Ah, uh, you're in Indonesia. Uh, but, okay. Yeah, and I'm using my phone because I don't have connection here. I'm in the middle of the mountain, so I'm using wow. my phone to to connect <laughs> with you. So that's why the quality of my camera is a little bit better because I'm not using the laptop. Uh. I'm using my my phone. Uh. Uh, I'm. Wow. In the middle of the mountain, wow, so there is beautiful. no <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm just uh, surrounded by greens in the mountain, so I don't wow. have uh, Wi-Fi. We don't have Wi-Fi here, mm. so that's why I'm using my own phone. <laughs> oh, surprising! It's more surprising than uh, land connection, Wi-Fi everywhere. This is uh, I mean 4G and 5G. In I I did the Brazil, uh, uh, the, the the falls, yes fall, uh, famous fall in Brazil, and one one of my Facebook friends uh, calling me, and so we have connection. I surprised the quality video from there. It's, it's like here, this video, mm. unbelievably high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And camera quality, of course, uh, very good. Much better than my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so the, this is yeah. the this is the new world. This is the what really happened right now in everywhere. We can reach any person in the world, any place in the world. So uh, to make a such a platform for education environment, the the COVID means the maybe nature, maybe God, maybe Buddha, maybe Christ. The shut down the connection of meeting together, and immediately we we go to this uh, Zoom world, we go to into this cloud world to connect more. That's why we can meet now. If there's no COVID, we have a very huge chance to meet together today. This is uh, another present from from the universe. 
the COVID is challenging us to overcome. The human never gave up. Human tried to overcome with a new technology, which make a big jump for people to meet more than previous. So this is my private opinion. Anyway, this is what happened right now, and we are working. And uh, this ice studio is really challenging. Only one company in the world really have this kind of technology. Because I I'm working for broadcast in the industry. I know all the friends who is working for new inventions. And then I I'm the guy who really working this device for every people. So now I I kind of pioneer to show this kind of way how we. So uh, the how we integrate this one with the Zoom. So uh, any person we can bring here, it's like a broadcast doing switching this camera, that camera, everything from from my machine. I'm doing now. You you are watching this kind of a new world. Okay. Any question? No, okay, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Look forward to it speaking again. Okay. Uh, nice yeah. to meet you guys. Yeah, we we are. Uh, Thank you so much, Scott. Yeah, thanks. And Scott. thanks, doctor, for the presentation. It's amazing and it's really good. We need to start uh, looking more into deeper side of it, and uh, for sure, the selling part to other countries, governments, and school system, and everything else. So this will be the next step when we are uh, talking next time for sure. more deeper detail on the sales side. Okay, great. So All thank right, you guys. very much. Have a so wonderful day. See All right, thanks, Scott. Thank bye. you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Bye bye. All right, bye, bye. Dr. Rio. Bye bye. Talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah, talk to you soon. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you, bye.